Hello everyone. Today I will explain how to add two matrices. Now let's start. Click on file menu. Click on new. Question is program for addition of two matrix now I'm solving this question first I'm writing the hetero files of C language
now I'm saving this file .c is the extension of C files now I'm compiling it to check there is any error there is one error bracket missing now I'm again compiling it there is no error now I'm running this file The first metric is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Second matrix is 1, Result is correct 2, 4, 6. Now we have to change few things. I am again running this file like in first matrix I have entered 1 1 1 1 1 1 correct 2 2 2 2 2 2, two. resultant matrix is correct answer now I'm explaining this whole program first I have written the hetero file that is hash include stdio.h hashes are preprocessor directory which includes an hetero file standard input output hetero file which include function like printf and scanf hash include conio.h which means console input output header file which include function like clear screen and get ch void is a data type which doesn't return any value and main is the main function of program curly brace is open which means beginning of program int is a data type which is used to store integer value now this is a question of metrics so what is metrics metrics in which you can store data in the form of row and column so I have declared three variables three matrices of size 2 into 3 means two rows and three columns first matrix is A second matrix is B and the resultant matrix is C and there are two more variables like A and J clear screen function is used to clear the screen with the help of printf function I have given a message enter the first matrix to input a uh, matrix we use nested loop here I have used nested loop one loop for uh, row and another loop for column for i equals to 0 i less than 2 i plus plus this loop is for row because there are two rows this loop will continue from 0 less than 2 means 0 4 and 1 and in the second loop this loop will continue from 0 to less than 3 means 0 1 and 2 after that i have uh, given a statement 
enter the elements. With the help of scanner function, I have taken the input of first matrix by incrementing each step of loop. First, it will store on 0, 0 position, then 0, 1, after that 0, 2. Then it will increase the value of because it will satisfy the whole value of j and after that the value of j will become 3 so that will not satisfy the condition so it will go to the i loop then i value of i will become 1 then 1 0 1 1 and 1 2 after that i have given a message the first matrix is with the help of loops i have printed the whole matrix For i equals to 0, i less than 2, i plus plus. For j equals to 0, j less than 3, j plus plus. Printf a i j means first is 0, 0, then 0, 1, 0, 2. Again, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2. Slash t for space and slash n for next line. First, it will print the first row and after that, it will print the second row. I have repeat the same process for the second matrix. First I have taken the input of second matrix and then I have printed the second matrix. In the resultant matrix, as there are two loops, one for row and another for column, just like it's an addition of two matrices, I have added the matrix A and B and the output will store in C matrix. And after that, I have printed the C matrix. First, it will print the position of C00 position, then 01, then 02. After that, 1011 and 12. GetCH is used to hold the output of program. Curly brace is called close, which means end of program. Again, I am running this program. In first row, I am giving 1, 1, 1. And in the second row, I am giving 2, 2, 2. As I have told you, in the first row, I am giving 1, 1, 1. In the second row, 2, 2, 2. Correct? In the second matrix, I am giving the same input. In the first row, 1, 1, 1. And in the second row, 2, 2, 2. So, if you add these things, then you will get the output. 2, 2, 2. And in the second row, 4, 4, 4. I hope you understand this concept properly. Thank you so much.